what is the mechanism at work here? Is it that the brain prefers ketones or is it inflammation or neurotransmitter production? All of the above or what is going on? That's a really hot topic area of research. Oh. I've given talks at all these major pharmaceutical companies because they want to put the ketogenic diet into a drug. And they want me to, they want to know the mechanism so they could dial in on the mechanism. I think what we need to appreciate is that when you go on a diet therapy, like a ketogenic diet, in many ways, it's a form of caloric restriction because it's kind of not very palatable and it kind of restores satiety. So you don't eat in the context of getting surplus calories, like the standard American diet. So it tends to correct insulin resistance, glycemic control, and also suppresses inflammation by correcting glycemic control and insulin, but also the beta hydroxybutyrate has a powerful anti-inflammatory effect. So it suppresses the NLRP3 inflammasome, and that's a target of many pharmaceutical drugs, and that will then inhibit TNF-alpha, IL-1-beta, and IL-6. So these things are pathophysiologically linked to autoimmune disorders, inflammation, and also psychiatric disorders, these circulating cytokines because they can cross the blood-brain barrier. So mechanisms-wise, brain energy, so your brain can use glucose, but also use ketones. So in the context of major depression, if you do a glucose PET scan, it shows glucose hypometabolism. And if you elevate circulating ketones, they rapidly cross the blood-brain barrier and they can restore and maintain normal cerebral metabolic activity. So you can bring cerebral back and restore it essentially. And as we age or if we have a disorder, in many cases, glucose metabolism in the brain is impaired. So there's that changing the neuropharmacology of the brain. When we're in ketosis, specifically beta hydroxybutyrate and maybe acetoacetate, works to convert glutamate to something called GABA, gamma amino butyric acid. And there's an enzyme called glutamic acid decarboxylase or GAD, and there's GAD 65 and 67. And that has been measured in our lab, but in other labs too, in humans and in animal models. When we're in ketosis, the diet or supplements, that enzyme gets activated and you can convert more of an excitatory neurotransmitter into a brain stabilizing, calming neurotransmitter. 